Hello and welcome to your new video where I will show you how to use my latest plugin Quick Deep L Translator plugin for WordPress. This plugin will embed a translation form to your page uh, in WordPress where your users will be able to translate content from one language to another using Deep L API. So to get started, click plugins, add new, upload plugin, choose file, navigate a zip file you downloaded, click install now. Activate the plugin and go to plugin settings. Here you will see that you need to enter a deep L translation authentication key. To get one, please quick click here. I won't show this uh, part because I want to keep my API uh, key private. So I pause the video and will resume when I entered it here. Be right back. Okay, I entered the uh, authentication key. And now here we have some more options. XML, XML tag heading. If you want, if you want to allow your visitors to also add HTML or XML code to the form, you should enable this. If not, you should disable it. You can define non-splitting XML tags, a comma separated list of it. Ignore XML tags, split sentences, preserve formatting and translate button click timeout. Uh, these features will uh, make, uh, these are deep L translator specific features. Uh, you should read their help here. You can leave their default values by start. Okay. The translate button click timeout will make the button unclickable for a period of time for users so they cannot abuse uh, subsequent clicking of the button. Okay, so now let's get started and display the uh, and create a page where we can display this uh, button. Let's create a new page, let's say test. Translation, and now we have two options. Our first option is to use the provided shortcode. This shortcode, uh, you should use this shortcode if you have a older version of WordPress, because on WordPress 5.0, the plugin also adds uh, Gutenberg blocks. Uh, that do the same thing. To access the Gutenberg block, uh, click the plus, embeds, and quick deep L translator. Click here. I will demonstrate the block alternative with shortcodes in a while. So if you don't have a good, uh, Gutenberg or WordPress 5.0, stay tuned and I will show you also the uh, shortcode alternative. So here you can select the source language. If you select all, then the visitor will be able to select the language from which he wants to translate content from. So target language, the same thing if you select all, the visitor will be able to select the target language. Maximum content length, if you want to define a maximum uh, length of uh, translation amount, of uh, characters, you can set it here. This is to prevent uh, abuse. So if uh, a visitor uh, pastes a very long text, you can prevent its translate translation here. And button translate button location top or bottom. So let's publish this page and check what we get from it. So here it is. This is the translation form. Uh, as because we selected all, all, then we can select the source language and we can also select the target language. Let's say I want to translate to German. Hello, I am a nice guy. 
nice to meet you translate and here is the German uh, uh, translation okay so now let's go ahead and play with these uh, parameters let's say I want to allow visitors only to uh, translate content from English Oh, but before this, uh, I want to show you that the form is also uh, responsive. As you can see, if you resize it, it will resize automatically. Okay, now let's uh, go ahead and play with the parameters let's say i want to uh, allow only in from english to german translations and i want to be to have the bottom the translate button on the bottom so let's update refresh our page so only from english to german I want to translate this to German. Okay. So this is the um, block alternative. If you don't want to use blocks, delete it. And let's go back to our uh, plug in main set uh, main settings and copy this short code and paste it here here you will have uh, the same parameters target language if you enter all then uh, all the visitor will be able to select the language source language the same maximum length of characters to uh, translate and button location top or bottom let's say i want to put it to the bottom and i want to translate from english to german please note that the language codes are uh, two letter notation updated and the same is uh, generated let's change this to all and this also to all update it and here it is these are back okay so i hope you will enjoy this uh, nice little plugin and it will help you so until next time I hope you will enjoy my work and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more similar content. Until next time, bye bye.